Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to discuss another very interesting problem implement a queue using two stack. So queue and two, uh, stack are both a different data structure and we have to implement uh, a queue using two stacks. So uh, before solving this problem let's understand the difference between queue and stack and uh, then we, uh, we will discuss how to solve this problem uh using example so uh, queue is a first in first out uh, data structure so in which the element which inserted at first is the first element to, to be dequeued so in queue insertion is called as nq and uh, deletion is called as dq whereas in stack a stack is a last in first out data structure so the element which inserted at last is the first element to be popped out so in the stack push operation is called uh, push uh, in, inserting an element in a stack uh, in our stack is called as push whereas a uh, deletion is called as pop so suppose here uh, is the following operation we have to perform uh, so uh, let's see how we do this in a Q and how uh, we implement uh, the, uh, this Q operation using two stacks. So let's uh, draw Q. So this is my Q. So let's see, I have this. And I have two stack. So this is my stack. So uh, let's uh, mark the indexes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So uh, we have, uh, we are going to implement a queue using two stacks. So this stack will be used for NQ, NQ operation. And the another one will be used for DQ operation. So this is for NQ and this one will be used for dq so let's write a short form deq so let's uh, uh, nq1 so in q so insertion uh, will be taken from rear end and our deletion will be happen uh, from front end so we have a two pointer front and rear so when we nq1 front and rear will points uh, at zeroth position and in a stack we simply push one here and the next operation is nq5 so in q let's uh, nq this so uh, our front pointer will points at zeroth index and rear will points to once so let's say a rear pointer will points here and the fronts will points here so and 5 will be pushed here now the next operation is to nq2 so in q we just push here and in the stack uh, in q we have push at position 2 and in the stack ju we just push here so uh, rear instead of this rear will now point to this and front still points to uh, zeroth index so when we now the next operation is dq so in dq uh, the so remember I said uh, the dq operation will happen from front so we have dq 1 but when we are going to pop from stack then two will be popped out so it's wrong so we have uh, taken second stack so what uh, we will do is if stack one is not empty then we push all the elements of stack one in stack two so if we popped element from a stack one then the two will be popped out first so two will be pushed here then five then one now we popped element from stack 
टू सो द एलिमेंट विच बी विच पॉप्ड आउट इज वन सो लेट्स फर्स्ट रिमूव दिस टू देन फाइव देन वन सो दिस स्टैक इज एम टी नाउ एंड द एलिमेंट विच गोइंग टू बी पॉप्ड आउट इज वन विच वी लेट्स राइट हेयर एंड पॉप फ्रॉम अ स्टैक नाउ द नेक्स्ट ऑपरेशन इज एन क्यू सिक्स सो इन क्यू वि सिंपली put here and in a stack so nq will happen on first stack so we just push in a stack one now again the dq operation our stack second stack is not empty yet so we just pop five so let's five and let's pop it out from this stack now again we have dq operation which we now let's write here and pop this stack pop this element from stack now again we have dq operation so stack 2 is empty now so we push all the element of stack 1 into 2 so 6 is to push here and this to be popped from stack 1 and now v written here so this element is popped out so this will also empty and we have uh, v after one v dq5 then 2 then 6 so the front will points to this is uh, index and the rear is also point at this index so in this way so remember we and q uh, one first and in dq we also get one then in q5 we get 5 2 6 2 6 so in this way so uh, using two stack uh, we have implemented a queue and i explain how uh, this will happen i mean how we do using uh, this two stack so uh, basically now let's see the java code so if i if i hide this so basically let's so let's so for this i have declared two stack stack 1 and stack 2 in stack 1 only we do nq operation and from a stack to we do the uh, dq operation so in nq we simply push the value in stack 1 while in dq we are checking whether stack 2 is empty if it's empty uh, and the stack 1 is also empty then we have not enqueued any value yet so else if stack 1 is not empty then what we will do is we push all the value of stack 1 into stack 2 and we popped value from stack 2 which i have explained uh, in the example and in void main i have just nq 3 4 5 then dq then 6 7 nq and then dq if i run this code so let's run it see Uh, see the output. It is three, four, five, six. And if we check the NQ value, we have first NQ three, four, five, then six, and then seven. So we have uh, not DQ'd one more value. Otherwise, seven is also printed. So uh, uh, this is it for this video. And all the code link. Uh, i will mention in the description box so please make sure uh, you check the description box and uh, we have discussed uh, a lot of questions related to stack which i have mentioned at the end of this uh, video so it's a complete play playlist and for more such video uh, please subscribe our youtube channel uh, and share uh, this channel with your friends colleagues 
and uh, thanks for watching this video thanks for your time